Hello and welcome to Ant Mini TV. My name is Brian Casey. I'm editor in chief of AntMini.com, and we're here at the 2006 edition of the Radiological Society of North America meeting in Chicago. Right now, we're going to be hearing about a new breast ultrasound technique called elasticity imaging that could reduce the number of breast biopsies. Uh, when a mass is identified on mammography or on self-examination, the patient is usually referred in for additional imaging such as an ultrasound or MRI and possibly a biopsy. However, often with the ultrasound and MRI, we actually identify additional masses when we do the workup that then also need additional evaluation and workup. Um, and we evaluated a new ultrasound technique called elasticity imaging um, that we think may be able to decrease the need for biopsy or additional imaging, uh, and including the associated patient anxiety that's associated with uh, finding new lesions and biopsies. That's Dr. Richard Barr, the study's lead author. Barr is professor of radiology at Northeastern Ohio University's College of Medicine and is a radiologist at Southwoods X-ray and MRI in Youngstown, Ohio. Barr's group was trying to find a way to resolve a vexing problem in breast imaging. Of the estimated 1.4 million breast biopsies conducted each year in the U.S., some 80% are benign. New modalities have been emerging as adjuncts to mammography to cut down on unnecessary biopsy, but in many cases, these techniques present new challenges of their own. One promising technique has been ultrasound elasticity imaging, which uses ultrasound to measure the stiffness of tissue as it moves. While researchers have been experimenting with elasticity imaging for the past decade, Barr's group investigated an elasticity method that uses a new software algorithm that both works in real time and enables sonographers to see the conventional ultrasound image next to the elasticity image. Elasticity images are collected with the conventional ultrasound machine using a standard 13 MHz breast probe. But while the conventional images are being collected, the system's software algorithm analyzes individual frames from the study to create elastograms, which are visual representations of how tissues move under compression. Cancerous tissue tends to have different elasticity properties than benign tissue. This video demonstrates a biopsy-proven invasive ductal carcinoma. The conventional ultrasound image is on the left, and the elasticity image is on the right. Barr's group examined 99 patients with 163 lesions who were already scheduled for ultrasound-guided breast biopsy. Conducting the elasticity study added only one or two minutes to each patient's workup, Barr said. 80 of the patients were actually biopsied, with 19 of the patients classified as having benign lesions based on imaging results. The group characterized breast lesions by scoring them as malignant if the suspicious area in the elastogram was larger than the corresponding area in the conventional image. If the region of interest was smaller on the elastogram, the group classified it as benign. This image demonstrates a ductal carcinoma in situ. The lesion on the elastogram on the right appears larger than in the image on conventional ultrasound on the left. The elastograms correctly predicted that 105 out of 106 lesions were benign. On only one benign lesion, a very dense hyalinized stroma, was the elastogram larger than the conventional image, Barr said. The group found 17 malignant masses in the patient population, and in every case, the elastogram image was larger than the conventional image. If the group had used the elastograms to rule out patients from biopsy, they would have biopsied only 18 patients rather than 123, and would not have missed any cancers, Barr said. This is an example of a benign fibroadenoma. The lesion is smaller on the elastogram on the right than on the conventional image on the left. This is an image of a simple breast cyst. Barr's group found that both simple and complex cysts had a bullseye appearance with a bright spot in the center that wasn't evident on conventional ultrasound images. The size of the cyst is also smaller on the elastogram on the right than on the conventional image on the left. On this image of a lymph node, the patient's lymph node appears normal in the conventional ultrasound image at left. But the elastogram at right is not only larger than the conventional image, but it also includes a dark area that Barr's group considered suspicious. On biopsy, the lymph node proved to be a focus of metastatic cancer. Barr said that elasticity's sensitivity in the study of 100% and its specificity of 99% meant that the technique could become a promising new weapon against breast disease if the group's findings can be reproduced in other studies. Our initial results of adding real-time elasticity imaging in a clinical setting appears to be very promising 
for lesion characterization. Um, patients do not realize we're doing anything different than a routine ultrasound. It's done extremely rapidly, a minute or two, to get the results. The results are available as we're interpreting the image with the patient and can give the results to the patient at the same time. Um, I do caution that this is a single center trial that we've done and we've been working this for, for two years and had some experience. Um, and at this point, we need to do a large multi-center trial with thousands of patients to confirm this technique actually uh, does what our results have shown um, so that we can then decide if it's, we can eliminate biopsies in the clinical setting. Um, and we are in the process of setting up a large multi-center, multinational trial uh, to follow uh, this technique using a similar technique where, where patients that are getting biopsies uh, will get the elastogram.